Tonight, new numbers from the juvenile probation department show a troubling trend with kids under 17 in our community. Take a look. The latest report by the department shows there's a 32% rise in felony aggravated assaults and 11% rise in misdemeanor assaults. The type of crimes that we're seeing and um, the, the videos that we keep seeing of these crimes is certainly very, very alarming. According to one juvenile probation officer, this has been an ongoing trend since 2020. A juvenile court judge tells our Erica Hernandez how we can all do something about that. Yeah, juvenile District Court Judge William Cruz Shaw is serving his first term as juvenile judge, but has years of experience working with people under 18. I love it because I think we have an opportunity to help these families in our communities, and it's great seeing these kids prosper. As of late, Shaw says there isn't so much an increase in the amount of criminal cases involving juveniles, but there has been an increase in some types of violent crimes involving this young group. The Bear County Juvenile Probation Trend Report for the first three months of this year is showing an uptick, as you can see right here, in aggravated assault felony cases. Usually it's the same group of kids committing the same offenses over and over again. But our, our numbers are pretty steady right now. But like we are getting a lot of more high profile cases and uh, a slight increase in violent offenses. Why do you believe that is? It varies. Putting a bunch of kids together in school environments, they be, have issues with other kids, um, social media, and it, it's just it's a different environment now compared to when we grew up. Judge Shaw has also seen more juveniles in those higher profile cases being certified as adults. As long as the state can um, prove certain elements of that process, then the court has the ability to send them straight to the adult side to be tried as an adult. It is why the goal of juvenile court is not only to help the child, but also their families. Our main focus is the best interest of that child. So we focus on rehabilitation. We're going to give services. We're going to wrap around services both for the child and the family to hopefully get them the, the help that they need so they don't reoffend. And it does take a village. So Cruz encourages everyone to say something if you see something. We've got to be vigilant. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.